everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing all good today. So today I'll be showing you my July favourites. There actually isn't that much here um, compared to last favourites. I've got a mixture of eyeshadow palettes, I've got a perfume in here, I've got a foundation, lipsticks, polish, polish? Nail polish. And some blushes and a lip mask. So yeah, I'm just gonna sit down, run through every single product, tell you why I like it why of course it's in my favourites and yeah I hope you like these videos if you do do give it a big thumbs up and make sure you hit subscribe because I do these every single month and yeah without further ado let's go I remember last favourites in June I had a lot of hair care I haven't got one hair care in here I haven't found anything this month I've been using the same products and yeah there's mostly makeup in here so that's good i'm gonna start off with the eyeshadow palettes because they're bigger and i'll tell you what's on my eyes so my eyes today i'm wearing two palettes and i've got in my favorites the beauty bay love notes and the i Heart revolution pineapple tasty pineapple palette so i've been picking this up more frequently it's it came out did it come out about springtime april may i can't remember um, but yeah, I've just been loving this palette. Look at these pretty shades and the reason why I put in my favourites is because I wanted the Revolution Roxy Cherry Blossom so bad and I thought, you know what, I'll just go through my palette, see what shades I can get similar to this palette. I thought this was a good match. I've actually done a look using this palette in my last video. I just think all these shades complement each other. I think they chose the shades really well for this palette. There isn't anything that sticks out random and i just think it looks really well put together and i love the foils in beauty bay palettes like they're just stunning so i've actually used this palette in combined with the pineapple palette just to add depth in the outer corner and i went in with ruby just smoked out a bit in the outer corner and i do believe you can still get this palette i don't know if it's limited edition but it is 15 pounds and i have checked it's still on the bb website now the tasty pineapple palette so this is by i Heart revolution my favorite palette so far they've brought out this year especially for the summer it's in my favorites again because i keep, keep i keep picking it up i keep going back to it and i just really love the shades in here i love this shimmer down here um, yeah, I have got a bit of the green on today. So the shade that I've got on the lid is Crown. I've just got that quite sheared out on the lid. And then I used Hummingbird shade just right in there in a corner. And I did use a base colour from this palette as well before I went in the Beauty Bay. I used a mixture of Juice and Sweet. But yeah, here's my eyes today. Really like it. I didn't actually think I'd match the two together but i just thought i'd do a look with them considering they're my favorites so the palette i'm going to mention now i do actually use it a lot off camera i don't really use it on my channel channel as much but this is one of my favorite neutral palettes in the minute this is the Too Faced born this way the natural nudes i've had this for a while and i've only just start recently picking it up as i've been going back in the office and everything so this is the palette that i normally wear to the office yeah you just can't go wrong with them my Favourite shade to put in the crease is probably Maple. I really like that. Sometimes I just wear that on its own and then whack a shimmer. I do really like the Glistening Snow as well, just as an inner corner highlight. But yeah, the deeper shades in this palette are really work really well too. So yeah, this is my favourite neutral palette at the minute. My next favourite product that I've been loving straight away as soon as I got it, I, it's the Catrice Cosmetics True Skin Hydrating Foundation. This is my first product from Catrice I think yeah yeah love it <laughs> I think it's like five pound at the minute it's on sale not sure if it still is now but I'll try link down below I've got it in the shade neutral sand I love this it's so hydrating but at the same time it's got coverage it doesn't go weird if you're layering it up it doesn't grab onto weird texture on your skin I get quite dry on my nose I do struggle on my nose with my foundation usually foundation skips on my nose this doesn't do that and i really like this because it works well with a sponge and a brush usually with foundations it's either one or the other but this one works great with both and yeah it just feels lightweight as well um and it just makes the skin look like skin it doesn't look caked and yeah this is my favorite foundation so far. Next up is just an eye base. This is the Revolution Ultimate Eye Base. This reminds me a lot of the P. Louise Aruma 02 consistency. Um, so yeah, if you want a cheaper version of the P. Louise, I'd probably get this. I have it in the shade light and it just works perfectly. 
and I would grab it again because it's really cheap. So what I'm wearing on my lips now are definitely my favourites. These are the Beauty Bay lip balm and lipstick. These are quite new and I usually put this on first. This is the coconut and vanilla lip balm. Love the colour of this shade. It's really nice. The payoff is a lot better on the lips than it is there. This is so nourishing. I really like it. It's one of my favourite lip balms ever so far and I've gone through a lot of lip balms. This is the lipstick. This is their cream lipstick formulas it's in the shade suede so this is a lot darker than i'd thought it would be on the website it does come off quite lighter lighter tone than this but i still like it usually i have got it on now and i just like tap it out with my finger and with this i feel like i don't need a lip liner so it's very quick it's just such a nice everyday shade and it is one of those lipsticks that I would wear on the go. It feels creamy, it's got a nice scent, doesn't feel drying, but because it is creamy, I do find myself I would have to top it off. Doesn't have stay put like a matte does, but I don't care. I always keep lipsticks with me anyway if I'm going out especially, so when every time I go to the bathroom, I usually top up. Very affordable, both under £10. Next up is a blush, and I've been using this, I've been picking this up a lot recently. This is the Milani Luminoso, such a classic, but such a goodie at the same time. Uh, I'll never get bored of this blush, it just, it just looks so pretty. Uh, I might put a bit on now, why not? Whilst we're here. I just feel like it always delivers, this blush does. I just never get bored of it. It's got such a nice shine to it as well, like a glowiness, not over glowy. I really want to pick more of these up. They are quite old, aren't they? But they're just such good blushes. Next up, I've got a perfume, and I've been really liking wearing this, and my friend actually got me this, Zoe Glitter. This is the Very Wang, I don't know if I'm saying that right, Very Wang, Very Wang Princess. I've used a lot of it up already. And it did come with the, it did come with the travel pump. I swear it came with the travel pump. Did it come with the travel pump? I'm terrible at describing scents, so I'll put the notes up here so you can read what's in it. But it just, to me, it smells, I don't know. Notes are here. Got a nail polish from Revolution. I don't know why I got this. Why did I get this? I got it from Beauty Bay just to get the whole pass thing. <laughs> and it needed it to not expire, so I just got this because you had to buy something with it and yeah, I've been really liking it. It's a nice summer um, nail polish. I'll probably buy more from Revolution. So yeah, that's my first Revolution nail polish. And lastly, but not least, this is the W7 Sweet Dreams with Vitamin E, Aloe Vera and Grape Seed Oil. I've been loving this. This is a lip mask. It smells divine. That's what the texture looks like. Literally, every time I see this on the side, I'll just put on my lips and your lips feel great. It doesn't feel too thick, but I normally wear this later in the evening if I'm not really going anywhere and I just want to like sit on my lips. I did buy a new lip mask the other day. It was a Jeffree Star one, which I've been really liking. This tops it. I'm not going to mention it in my favourites yet because I've only just bought it, but... My God, if you love banana scented things, you're gonna love that. And that concludes my July favorites. So that's the end of my video today. I hope you enjoy it. Do let me know what's been your highlight of the month. What have you been loving beauty wise for July? The highlight for this month is definitely the Catrice foundation. I'm so gonna repurchase this when I run out if, if my skin doesn't change or anything and I would have to buy something else. Yeah, loving this. But yeah, that's me. I'm gonna go now. If you did like this video, give it a big thumbs up. It sure helps my channel out. And if you don't wanna miss out on my August favorites, hit the subscribe button down below. But yeah, I hope you have a lovely day. Now it's time watching this and I shall see you in the next one.